Okay everyone, we're ready to assemble the um, hot air balloon. Now this does take quite some time cutting it out because there are a lot of score marks. Um, you're going to get six of these panels, um, the sides, and I've already assembled most of them, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, first you're going to take the side and you're going to bend all of the score marks all the tabs over okay then what you're going to do is um, get glue and glue up the tabs you're going to want to glue all of the tabs at the same time here and we're going to put it on we're going to put it on right here um, we use two different colors for this just to give it more of a hot balloon look, hot air balloon look. Um, you're going to start gluing from the top is probably the easiest. And then work your way down. Use the um, score marks as your guide and the folds. Um, it will all come together. It will not look like a hot air balloon until it's all the way done. So don't get discouraged halfway through. So you just glue down the tabs as you go down to the bottom of the balloon. Okay, so I've already, now I've got four sides glued together right here. And now I'm going to glue these two together. So first I'm going to make sure all of my tabs are folded, and they are. Okay, great. I'm going to put glue. And now we're going to, once you glue these together, I suggest doing two sets of three. Glue three together, and then glue another three together, and then, and then put those two sets together. So you're going to start at the bottom when you're using the, uh, when you're joining the two sets together. It's going to be a lot easier for you. You want to get all these tabs underneath here. Just so that I can get my fingers in there and glue it. Hot glue might be the better option here since it's quick drying, quicker drying than the quick dry glue I use. All the way glued down now. We're going to get the bottom piece and glue the bottom onto the bottom here. Okay. So I'm just going to use hot glue from now on, make it go faster. So you just glue that down. Okay. And now we're going to get the box. Now I already assembled the little carriage is what it's called. Um, the carriage file. And we're going to get the Okay, so now that you've glued all of this, the carriage outside to the carriage, we're going to fit the center piece into the middle here, through the top. It does fit very, very snug. Okay, and you might want to glue the bottom. Um, I didn't. I didn't on the first one either, so. So now we're going to glue that. I'm going to use some hot glue here. Let's get a good glob on there so we get a good, so we get a good, uh, so it glues really good to the bottom here. 
Okay, and now it stands up. Okay, so we're gonna set this off to the side and now we're going to work with the box part of it. I already did, I don't know if this is the bottom or the top, they're very, very close in size. So, um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is push up the teeth. Okay, you're gonna fold the teeth in. Then you're going to glue here. You don't really want to fold down that tab there. I know it has score marks on it, but that's more of a guide to where to glue it at so that it fits perfectly snug with the bottom and the top. And you're just going to hold this down until it glues. You're going to hold it down a while because since it's not square, there's a lot of tension. Since it's circular, there's a lot of tension for it to pull apart. And we want the glue to dry fairly quickly here, and mine is not. I use the Coordinations cardstock, and whenever I do anything circular, it does not want to work. So maybe I'll use the hot glue to make it go faster. Okay, just put it, glue there and put it together just like that. Okay, that seemed to work a lot better. Now, now we're going to determine which is the smaller of the two circles. That is the one that goes on the inside. So we're going to test it out if it doesn't fit snug. If it, if it overlaps, then that's the outside. Okay, this one seems to fit better. Oh, no. I think it's this one over here. Like I said, they're very close in size. Okay. Oh, that is it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our glue and glue around the edge of the circle on the bottom of it. Then we're going to pop it in to the box and push it down all around to make sure we get all those tabs glued to the box. You know, some of them won't glue down. That's fine. It might just be because of this cardstock, and the glue doesn't like to work with this cardstock. Okay, get all that glue off right there. Okay, now you're going to take the other circle and just glue it on. Okay, line up the edges, push it down, turn it over. Make sure you. There we go. Now we have the box. I'm not sure if this is the top or the bottom. Okay. So this is the top. That's not gluing down good. I have to remember not to buy the coordinations cardstock. I love this glue. I'm not going to suck. Oh, I'll buy the Hobby Lobby open stock cardstock. I love that cardstock. I'm so glad they came out with the Hobby Lobby near me. So now that we got the box together, the top and bottom are together, we're going to take our clouds, which I've already put foam tape on, and we're going to glue them, and we're going to just stick them around, stick them around the box here. You can use one, two, or all three of them if you like. Okay, so got the clouds on there. Now we're going to hot glue the bottom of the carriage to the top of the box and center it as best as you can. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take our side panels, which look like surfboards here, and we're going to curve them a little bit with our fingers just to help them keep their shape here. 
I'm gonna do that with all of mine right now. Okay, and you can probably do more than one at a time. Okay. And there we go. So we're gonna just take our glue, put some glue on the top and some glue on the bottom. Then we're going to put it right on top here and then glue it to the bottom. Um, I suggest leading it. See how I glued it to the bottom? I didn't glue it all the way to the bottom. I want to give it some puffiness to get the round look for the, um, for the balloon shape. So I'm just going to do that all the way around now. I cut out two different two different um, designs here, so I'm going to alternate between the designs. Okay, and hot glue really makes it go a lot faster. Okay. only downfall with hot glue is that you get the spider web effect. You can spend the time pulling those off after you're done. Okay, and 